Hello, everyone. My name is Marie Isai. Some of you may already know me. For those of you that don't, I've worked in SEO for over 12 years, probably closer to 15, but who's really counting? I wanted to talk about recovery work that I'm currently working on. I've worked on recovering sites for the last two years, and I became fascinated with it during those last two years because it's more of a puzzle and it's more of what does the site need to do to help it recover. Now, it's no secret that Google has been rolling out more and more Google Algo updates. They even have a page that's dedicated to letting us know when the update starts to roll out and when the update is finished with rolling out. And I wanted to pull it up because it's a really good source of information. If you're curious about when an algo update is rolling out, when the dates are and when it stops so that you can breathe a little bit easier. Now with this first video, what I want to talk about is what does it look like when a site is actually hit by a Google algo update? Now I'm just not referring to the core updates, but some of the other updates, we have a spam update, we have a helpful content update, we have core updates, and then we have other types of updates, right, from Google. And it's interesting to see what the sites actually look like that were actually hit by the update. Now, this isn't going to be the SEO scholarly type with a whole bunch of tools and really trying to show you what it looks like to an SEO when we say that your site's been hit by an update, but this is more of what a business site owner would see when they think they've been hit by a Google update. What does it look like? And what uh, do the sites look like that are not hit by updates? And I wanted to point this out because a lot of times I'll get a new client and they first tell me, hey, my site was hit by an update. But when I start to investigate, I realize the site really wasn't hit by an update, but it's really hit more with underperforming through the years and the decline of the website goes down, it just becomes noticeable when there's an update. And there's really a lot of other things that can be going on. And sometimes the sites are not hit by an update. So I pulled some images from sites that I've worked on in the past or that I'm currently work, worked on. And it's just to show you what it actually looks like in the back of Google Search Console when a site is hit so that you can determine was your site really hit by an update or not? Now, first, you always want to take a look at the dates because if your site was hit by an update, it will be around one of these dates. It normally starts within 24 hours of the start date. And then once it's completed, you typically won't see much happen after that date. And I say typically because there still will be a few outliers of a few sites, but the majority of us will see when, uh, when the algo update is launched, we will begin to see activity within those days. It doesn't have to be within the first 24. It can be on the second, third, fourth, or fifth day, depending on how long of a rollout this is. Now for the spam update, they really only rolled it out for two days. And then they announced on October 21st that the spam update was then completed. So let's take a look at some of the images that I've pulled up here. So this is of a site that absolutely was not hit by an algo update. It was actually hit by long term, just poor overall SEO, or maybe they didn't do SEO on the site. And overall, the, the, uh, the website begins to do poorly and you'll see more of a slant. Now, this year in the last couple of months, we've seen more of a slant. And I drew a red line to draw your eye to it. Now, this particular site does a lot of traffic always in October, but the actual decline of the site, you can see is starting to go down, dwindle down. It started dwindling down um, through the months. You can even see in January, it was struggling a little bit before it kind of rose up a little bit. And I'm just talking a little bit. This is, this is my new, so it was just underperforming. Now I couldn't grab the actual chart that would show you gradually going down because this site's gradual decline was extremely gradual and it was hard for me to capture because I can't capture you know the last 10 years well on a chart but it was a more of a gradual decline and the, if you see something like this this site was not hit by a Google update now on the other images 
that you can take a look. This site was actually hit by a Google Algo update and you can see where they have um, good activity on the website. You'll see a huge spike here and then you'll see a decline and then you'll see it decline actually into zero impressions and zero visitors. And then you see it pick up slightly here at the end of November where they start to get a little bit of traffic, but it's nothing major or it's nothing like it was before. Let's just say that. So you see more of a decline, more of coming off of a cliff with sites that have been hit by a Google update. And you can also start to compare dates to see where the cliff is and the dates that it actually started. So in this particular chart, you can see more of a cliff that I just talked about. Now you can see the site's still performing. It's just not performing where it was, right? So impressions and clicks were much higher than what we see it now. So we can see the definite drop off or cliff. Now this particular site doesn't zero out yet or has it. Um, you might see it zero out on some sites and then some sites you'll see where it just does a third of what it normally would do. We actually correlated the dates on this one and it fits directly into the dates of the spam update. So their decline actually happened on the 19th and 20th is where we were able to chart it. And then because it fell and because you have a definite cliff here and it fell within the dates of the Google Algo update, we then began to determine it was hit by an, a, an update, a Google Algo update. Say that 20 times um, and not stutter on it because I, I just can't seem to do it. But that is not everything that determines if a site was hit by a Google Algo update. This is the fast version that any website owner can use to say, was I hit or wasn't I hit? Because a lot of times there's a lot of confusion in if your site was actually hit or not hit. Now you'll see more of this cliff. It's a telltale sign. And then you can even start comparing your dates. When did the cliff start? And does it correlate with any of the Google Algo update dates? If it doesn't correlate with any of the dates, then you're probably not talking about a Google Algo update and maybe a technical issue that's on the site. And I've seen that as well. So these sites can have a million problems. I see it all the time, but really what they're what people wanted to know is if they were actually hit or not hit by the update. And these are just some really simple ways to glance at the chart so you can say, well, I see this huge cliff that Marie was talking about. So perhaps it was, but what are the dates? When did the cliff start? When did I notice the downturn? And then does it fit into any of the algo updates? Um, so it's just a really good way for a business owner to say, was I hit or wasn't I hit? So that you can know definitely without a doubt um, if your site has been hit or not. Here's another way to look at a site with Ahrefs. If you don't have Google Search Console, maybe you don't. These are just other charts that you can look at to say, hey, is that cliff? What you're going to see is a lot of activity that just sort of plummets into a cliff. And you're going to see the steep line of the cliff on organic traffic. You're going to see the steep line on organic keywords. So with this particular site, you can see that it was doing pretty good with organic keywords. And then there's this huge cliff that goes completely down and almost bottoms out into the zero range. Now, in this particular picture, you can see the cliff starting to rise again or go back up. That's when you're starting to recover a site or the algo is starting to recover a site. You'll start to see the keywords return. And I'll talk more about that in later videos. But for this particular video, what we're looking at is the cliff that goes down and then your traffic bottoms basically out. Some of it, we hang on to a little bit of traffic and then other sites will just bottom out into zero. You can even see the traffic value on Ahrefs or you can look at the organic keywords or even the organic traffic and just look for that definite cliff. And then what you wanna do is take a look at your dates. So it looks like an algo update, but what are the dates? Do the dates actually 
correspond to dates that Google has given us with uh, the rollouts. And that's what you want to take a look at. Now, some sites you'll see do this cliff behavior because maybe they had a site redesign and when they launched it back, there's a huge technical issue that they didn't know about. And you'll also see a cliff that looks just like this one. So not just the cliff, but then you also want to correspond with the dates. Now that is not the super scientific SEO method. I could draw this out for weeks and show you how people are correlating if this is an update or not, but this is a super fast, simple version for, bit, for website owners so that you can take a look and have a little bit more of an understanding if your site was actually hit by an update or not. And this is really what it looks like. You'll see the cliff, the site's doing well, things are improving, things are going up. Maybe they'll have little dips here and there, but seeing this definite fall off into almost bottoming out into a zero, that's what a Google Algo update looks like. And you'll see it correspond within the dates. Remember, when they release the first date of the Algo update, you can see this downward spiral within the first 24 hours, the first hour, the first two hours, the second day, the third day, it doesn't matter. You'll see it within those dates if you've been hit by a Google Algo update. Now, moving forward in this YouTube series, I'm super excited to bring it to you because I'm going to be talking about off page as well as on page and all of the things that you can do to get in front of these Google Algo updates so that maybe your site isn't hit so that you can do the things that the other site owners are not doing. You can do them on your site so that you lessen your chances of being hit. Now, there's always a chance that your site can get hit. There is no 100% guarantee that your site will never be hit, but you can tighten up and do things a whole lot better so that there's less of a chance of being hit. And those are the things that I want to talk about as I work on sites to recover them, I'll be making videos and showing you what I'm doing. I won't be revealing actual sites because they're not my sites to reveal. But there's actually a lot of insight that you get when working on a site and then reversing the Google Algo update because then you start to see what's working, what's not working. And I'm going to walk you through the steps. It's a long process. There's not a button that I flip to get us a, a site back into rankings. It's a long process, it's a hard process, and it's a lot of trial and error. And it's also a lot of research into what is the site done? What is the site doing? Where are the problems with the site? And is it is fixing that enough to bring it back? Sometimes it is, sometimes it's not. Now, it is getting harder to bring sites back but if you can understand why they were hit to begin with, it's a little bit easier to work on them, to bring them back. Now, like I said, there's no button. There's no button that I push to say, tomorrow the site will be back. It's actually a lot of hard work and it's a lot of work for my team to perform. But the more sites we work on and the more systems that we put into place, the easier it has become for us. And that's what I wanna talk about. And also I'm seeing certain aspects or certain things on sites that are repeated over and over. And those sites are hit every single time. So if I can get the information to you so that you can turn your site around so that it's not hit, then we're all doing a whole lot better or we're a lot better off for it. So this is a series I've been wanting to bring you for a long time, but it's only recently that I felt comfortable, not only talking about everything that I was seeing, because maybe as SEOs, we start to see patterns and we start to see things, but until I've repeated that process over and over and over, I don't want to really talk about it because I have to fully understand why the site is or isn't coming back before I'm able to talk about it in an intelligent manner so that I can understand what's going on so that I can then show you what's going on. And then we can all learn from the process. So in this YouTube series, like I said, I'm going to be talking about what you shouldn't be doing, what you should be doing. I'm going to talk about the sites as I'm bringing them back. We're going to talk about all the ups and downs that you have when bringing a site back. No one talks about the ups and downs of it, like where the site looks like it's going to recover and then plummets back down and dashes everybody's hopes. Because really online, what do we want to talk about? Oh, 
you know, the full recovery and how great it looks at the end. But I think that's really doing a disservice to our SEO community because it appears to be easy when it's not, and it appears to be fast when it's not. So I think we're doing everyone a disservice by saying, hey, the site's doing really well. These are three top three things that I did. And I think a YouTube series is needed to shine a light on all of the factors and do it in a really visual manner. I am a super visual learner. That's how I learn. And so for you, those of you that are visual, that's why I wanted to bring it to YouTube. So I'm really excited about the series because it's something that I love to talk about and I'm going to continue to talk about throughout the series. This is what it looks like when your site is actually hit. I can even show you more examples, but I thought it, we needed to clarify what does the site look like when it's hit in the simplified version. And that's what I brought to you today. And I'll see you guys in the next video.